everyone. Welcome to a pack with me for our glamping trip. This weekend, myself, my boyfriend Benji, and our little dog Bonnie are spending four days in a farm, staying in a shepherd's hut, totally getting off the grid and chilling, enjoying each other's company, going on nice dog walks, playing games, and I just can't wait. So I thought I'd show you what I'm trying to pack. <laughs> I'm really trying not to overpack, but if you watch me regularly, you'll know that I just wanna take everything with me, especially when it's a staycation and we have our car, so I, I don't have to worry about luggage allowance. I kind of get a bit carried away. We are gonna need to pack some food, although, the accommodation will have like pots and pans it will have like a little barbecue we will it doesn't have a fridge it's only got a cool box so we do need to think about what kind of meals we want to do there are a few local pubs so we can have some pub lunches but i need to pack stuff for myself clothes wise so i'll show you all my bits and bobs i need to do a whole bag for bonnie it's crazy how much one small dog actually needs i am going to be vlogging the whole thing and doing like a tour and a review and showing you what it's exactly like because I've never stayed in a shepherd's hut so I'm not 100% sure what it's going to be like and what, what I'll like and not like so I'm going to share that with you and that'll be coming very soon so bear with me on that but I've basically made the list on my phone which is the first thing I do for any kind of packing or trips I'm doing even if it's just one night away I always write down everything I need because you don't want to forget anything especially as I'm going to be in the middle of nowhere not going to have access to shops like instantly although we can drive anywhere if we do need anything so it's not the end of the world but i'm really looking forward to it so i've written my list and then i basically laid everything out on the bed so i'll show you what i've got so far and i'll show you the bits i've got downstairs and we're going to start trying to pack and make some progress it's currently 20 to 2 on the thursday and we're leaving tomorrow afternoon and i need to go to MS and get some bits and bobs that we specifically like there bonnie's on the floor just chilling lots of stuff is on charge right now so this is what i mean everything gets laid out on the bed so let me just run through it with you really quick this is the dress i'm going to be actually wearing tomorrow it's going to be a really hot sunny day so i just wanted something nice and light and cool and comfy this is from tesco fnf i love it and then i've laid out a couple of clothing outfits and bits and bobs so i have a full gym outfit here basically a sports bra gym leggings and a top and that is just if we want to go on a nice long dog walk this is the outfit that I will wear because it's super comfortable and it can get muddy and washes easily and that kind of thing then I have comfy clothes so I have a long pair of tracksuit bottoms from Gilly Hicks in case it's chilly but it's meant to be quite warm and I think I want to just lounge around in something like this these shorts are from a brand called I think they're called 10 trees is it something like that i'll leave a link below um but they're very very comfortable although they have started to bobble up here i don't know why but anyway gonna pack those i have three jumpers at the moment this one is quite nice for just like slouching around in this one will be good if we have a bonfire i don't really mind if it smells of smoke it's from primark um, and a hoodie is always just comfy to be in and then this is a zip up which i thought could be quite good to wear with my gym outfit or to chuck over the top of my pyjamas. Um, so yeah, I'm taking all three, which I know they're quite bulky, but I know that I want them all. Uh, I might actually wear this on the journey home as well, so that's that. These are my pyjamas from ASOS, shorts and a top. I have swimwear, so I've got a bikini, and then I do actually have the same print in a cosy as well. I'm taking both because there's a hot tub, and I don't know whether I want to be in the cosy or the bikini and if one's wet and i want to put a dry one on or whatever i want to sunbathe in this one or be in the hot tub in this one they're very light so it doesn't matter so we take both of those i've got a jumpsuit these are amazing because it's just all one outfit don't have to worry it's nice and cool and comfy and it's going to be quite nice if we go for a pub lunch so i thought i'd take that a couple of tops i'm not sure whether to pack a pair of denim shorts that could be quite a good idea but i do already have those shorts and i don't really see the need for denim as we're not really going anywhere we're just chilling so i'm just going to take a few different variations of tops and i wouldn't normally actually pack this many but because we have bonnie here she is just chilling she's being very good because we have her sometimes if we obviously go on a walk or we get muddy or she jumps up at me she sometimes makes some of my clothes dirty so i've got a few different plain tops basically to wear with those shorts 
or with my leggings. So that's gonna be most of my clothes, I think. I'm quite happy with that selection. Like I said, it's only four days, so it's quite a lot of different things there. Then I've got my underwear in this little underwear bag. Obviously clean underwear in, the, in there at the moment, bras and pants. And then I've got some trainer socks and I also have some fluffy socks. I think these will be really nice to wear when we have got the bonfire going and we're just chilling or we're sitting in bed. Cozy socks are the one. So I've got those. I'm also packing a little hot water bottle just in case it's really cold. This is from John Lewis at Christmas time, hence the snowflakes, um, but it's perfect. So take that. Camera gear, not too much. The bulkiest thing is that I'm packing my drone. I'm not sure whether to bother taking the whole case because there's actually not a power plug socket. There's only USB for solar panel. So I won't be able to pack the charger, which fits in here normally. But yeah, I might just move this into a smaller bag because I really only need those bits. The actual batteries are on charge over there right now. So yeah, that is that. And then in terms of my camera stuff, I have another camera for filming purposes, a microphone. This little bag has spare batteries and memory cards and a few leads. Again, all USB, no plugs, there's no point. A power bank that I fully charged up. Should be on 100%, yeah. As you can see, this is a bit battered now. I've had it for a long time from Amazon. If there's any links to any of these things, I'll leave them below for you. Um, it's very heavy, but it does the job and it charges my phone like two or three times. So if one of us is charging our phone through the solar panel, then I can use this during the night or whatever. Um, we take this on sailing trips where we have the same scenario. We don't always have access to power when we go sailing. Over here, I have got some dock and bay towels. These are a game changer, honestly. You can buy them on Amazon, but they do also obviously have a website. I've bought from both before. I have three at the moment. Grey one for Benj, pink and white for me, and then a spare one. They're so light and easy to pack that I'm gonna take all three, I think. Um, just in case one is still wet and we need a dry one, there'll always be a spare. So I think that'll be handy. A couple of bits I just found lying around, some straws. I do actually think I have some um, better ones I can take that are downstairs, but they were just amongst the travel stuff. I have some carabiners. I don't know what I need these for. Um, I just found them and thought, oh, they might be quite handy for something. Don't know what yet. We'll just leave them there. A face mask. Sun cream, obviously so important. Benj and I have to wear Factor 50 because we're so pale. This little bag from Primark has a bunch of toiletries in. This is our first aid kit, which looks a bit excessive, but I just have everything for every scenario. Okay, I don't need C-bands, obviously I can take those out, um, but we take this on every trip. It's got inset repellent and bite cream in there as well, which is going to probably be quite handy I imagine but yeah that's all that and then this little bag I never ever get to use this and I love it so much I never use it when I fly because it's a bit bulky but for this trip I thought I'd use it I just have some light makeup lip balm eyebrow pencil just a little bit not like I mean I'm not bothering with any foundation or anything like that there's no point and then I've got hair stuff so I put some scrunchies and hair bands in the back there um yeah so that's that water bottle a little rucksack that's from a company called Longchamp. I always take this on travels, it's amazing. And then I've got a magazine. So that's what that's looking like. I have some packing cubes, if you know me well. You'll know I love a good packing cube, so I might try and pack some stuff in packing cubes in a minute. I'm thinking of taking this bag for me, for my stuff. It's by Orla Keeley. I bought it in America about five years ago and it's still going pretty strong. So like I said, I always write a list for my packing. And when it came to this one for this staycation, I realized there were quite a lot of different categories. So I started with beauty. I just use the notes app on my phone and then I use the tick list and then I tick it off um, as and when I pack something. Um, so I've got beauty stuff, which I think I'm pretty much done with now. Clothes, which I think I'm done with. I just need a hat. Shoes, tech stuff, I'm charging my Kindle and my Nintendo Switch. I've got a tripod, I think, in there, and I also need to find my AirPods. So nearly done with the tech stuff, but that's that section. Miscellaneous stuff for me, so my sunglasses, my purse. I sleep with a teddy bear every night. I know, I'm a small child, so I need to pack him. And uh, I was thinking it could be quite nice to take a speaker, like a portable one, so we can play some music. A light rain jacket. A blanket for me to put around my legs in the evening when we're like around the fire. And then I think I've shown you everything else that's in there. 
I've got all the towels and we've got a torch downstairs and things like that. And then Bonnie has her own full section because we need like poo bags, towels, blankets, her water bowls um, and food bowl obviously, her different leads. Um, so yeah, all the stuff for her. <laughs> food and drink stuff. I've been trying to think about what kind of meals we're going to want, what snacks. I don't know if we're going to need things like mayo and ketchup. I think there's salt and pepper and sugar. There's going to be some things, but there's not going to be everything. So I might have to get that kind of stuff. And then camping extra stuff I put. So it's suggested to bring in tin foil and matches and fire lighters and things like that, which I'll show you downstairs. So I've got this massive list, but I'm going to show you the bits that I've already got. And then I might have to pop to the shops and get the bits that I want. What I really wanted was one of those like gorilla tubs. You know, there's like flexi tubs with the handles. I might pop into B&Q and see if they have one because I think that could be really handy because the actual accommodation is quite small. It's In fact, it's very small inside. And with us and all of our gear, I think it could feel quite cramped quite quickly. So I'm thinking about storage solutions. Obviously, we can put stuff in the car that we're not using, but I think one of those tubs could be quite handy to put like toys and bonnie's bits in and whatever just finished my coffee let's go downstairs i'll show you the other things we have and then let's pop to the shops i cannot forget to pack some of her favorite toys these two and she has a little squirt down here as well that she loves hello darling are you excited to go on a camping trip or glamping should we call it you're gonna have to go downstairs in the kitchen now while i go out Oh, she's going to bring that with us. Good. I actually think I need to pack that blanket as well because she sleeps on that in my office here. So, and she has another bed in Benji's car too. I have used this same technique of laying stuff out here in the kitchen for all the other bits and bobs. So I'm obviously not finished yet. I've really only just started this, but I've got a picnic blanket. I've got some plastic uh, champagne glasses and I also have some plastic wine glasses. Um, I'm pretty sure they'll have stuff like this, but just in case... I also have a bottle opener. Again, I'm pretty sure they'll have stuff like this, but we were very kindly given this from Zaflora, so I just thought, chuck that in. They also gave us this this week. I don't know where this is from, but it's basically knife and fork and spoons, and I don't know, I thought it might come in quite handy. Ben just said to pack it anyway, just in case. I've got this torch from Home Bargains. This is great. It has a magnet on it, and it has a little hook, and it's really, really bright, so you can do that way and this way. I think this is great, so you can obviously stand it up and whatever. Got some games, absolute essential. I'm a brand ambassador for Big Potato Games, and we're packing P for Pizza, Dino Dump, Colour Brain, and The Muddles. We have not played this one yet, although it's meant to be great for kids, age six plus. And Colour Brain, everyone loves Colour Brain. This is an excellent game. This is actually an extension, so if you already own the big version, there's some new um, questions in here, so I'm looking forward to trying those. This is just brilliant. And then P for Pizza we talked about in a recent vlog. And Donut Dump is one of our all-time favourites. And then I've just found a normal pack of cards as well. So that's our games. Food-wise, I've obviously not done the food shop yet, but thought it'd be nice to pack some wine. We've got Gallo, Whites and Vandel. I have a tin of baked beans, tuna, breakfast cereal bars. Thought they could be quite handy. Marshmallows, I mean, yes. Some sweeties. We've got a cheese board that we've ordered and I'm not sure if it'll come with our favourite crackers. So we've got those and then some other little treats and Pringles. We have already used a few of these for other things. So I thought we'll pack those. We're not going to need all of these obviously, but they could be good for the marshmallows. So we've got that. And then in this little bag, I bought a bat and ball set, a couple of games. Um, thought that'd be fun. And then I also have the wood fire lighters, matches and these fire lighters so got a good selection there they're going to be providing us with the big logs that we need um for the barbecue and the hot tub and stuff but these were from b&m 199 bargain i'm currently just doing a little wash i've got a blanket that i finished washing that is hanging out drying hanging on the door and then i've just been gathering together some reusable bags because we're going to need to pack all this stuff. I need to find, we have a cool bag somewhere. So it doesn't have a fridge, but it does have a cool box, which should be fine. However, oh, I've got some more plastic wine glasses. Not going to need that many. Um, I do have this cool bag that was from Home Bargains. So we'll use that. This one is a cool rucksack. Could be quite handy. 
Um, so yes, I think that's all we're gonna need food wise. So I think I'm gonna take a trip to M&S now and get what I need and I'll come back and show you a couple of the bits I buy. I am leaving, but I just realized I'm gonna need my own tea bags because my favorite tea is Yorkshire tea biscuit brew. I thought it might be quite handy to take some sandwich bags as well. We don't use these all that often because if we do, we try and reuse them um, because, you know, single use plastic, but I'm not gonna need the whole box. So maybe we'll just take a few out. They're just very handy, aren't they? Okay, I'm back and I went to B&Q and bought one of these flexi tubs to store all of Bonnie's things in. I just think this will be so much better to have all her stuff in one like bin that we can move around, put it outside, put it under the shepherd's hut if we have to, that kind of thing. I also went to Pets at Home. I already have a small bowl I can use for her food, but I just wanted something that was appropriate to put her water in for the weekend, and this is much lighter than what her water is currently in. So yeah, this is much better to take. So I'm actually gonna wash that out, take the sticker off. Then I went to M&S and they gave me a reusable bag with long handles for being a Sparks Club member, M&S Club holder, whatever, um, which is free to sign up to, but they were giving away free bags today. So I was like, thank you. So I got some really yummy stuff in for us, some burgers, lovely burger buns, salad stuff, some fruit. And I saw these as well and thought these would be very handy. I thought we could do with some kitchen roll, or kitchen towel, just in case we have any spills or Bonnie has an accident, like she doesn't in the house, but you just don't know, do you? So I'm gonna bring some wet wipes with me as well. I saw these and thought they'd be absolutely perfect because a roll of kitchen towel is like too much for the weekend, whereas this is perfect. It's light and compact, and yeah, it's just handy towels, but they are kitchen towel. I thought that was great, so convenient. It's got recyclable packaging. So yeah, very handy indeed. I'm very impressed with that, so let's pop that in with the stuff. I just got some really nice, like yummy things, like some crisps. Oh, I got us our favorite Gibbo Asti. So we have Rose and Gibbo Asti. Um, but you know, we are there for three nights and we're not celebrating anything, but we're having a weekend away. I got three bottles, but I'm not gonna need three bottles. I'll ask Bunch how many he wants to take. Something I definitely want to pack are a few carrier bags. They're great for dirty towels or wet swimwear or leftover food, things like that. So I want to know how to fold them into the tiny triangles. So I'm gonna watch a YouTube video. Okay, so fold it in the handles, fold in half, making sure to press the air out. Okay, then fold once again, and then fold the bottom into a triangle and keep going. Oh. Oh, right, like that, okay. Ah, okay. Once at the top, tuck in the excess. Tuck the excess in, like that. And we've got ourselves a little carrier bag. Oh, that's handy, isn't it? Okay, so I've got my carrier bags and I've also used a couple of these like pegs, grippy sandwich bag things. In fact, pegs might be handy to hang anything that needs to dry, but I thought these could be good to like, um, clip food when we're not using it. You know what I mean? If you open like a bag of salad or crisps or whatever. Um, so yeah, we'll take these. Sandwich bags, I need to decide how many I want of these. Cause we're not gonna need a whole box. That's just ridiculous. So we've got different sizes. So maybe I'll take two big ones and two smaller ones. Next, I'm gonna do Bonnie's bin, her bucket of stuff. And on her list, she has Food, medicine, water bowls, wet wipes, ball, toy, poo bags, raincoat, harness. Oh, I've just had a text and it just distracted me. Uh, a towel, a blanket, a bed, short lead, long lead, and we've got a 10 meter long lead as well for her. So we can use that if we have to. And the lead spike that goes in the ground. And I'm not sure whether to pack some shampoo in case she gets really muddy and I have to wash her. Um, I don't know if they have an outside tap or whatever, but that's what I'm gonna do next. Okay, so Bonnie's bucket is looking like this at the moment. I also have a clean towel. I actually have two towels, but I think I'm only gonna need one for her. So we'll pop that in there. That's her towel. Obviously we've got the Dock and Bay ones, um, but 
yeah she just has old towels i do have microfiber ones as well in fact i actually have been i've been washing benji's wellies actually um but i have also been doing a wash and these things are the last to dry um and i use this little towel sometimes for bonnie and this one's also for her and then i've started an ikea bag which has got a pair of trainers for me my wellies and a blanket for us love an ikea bag when it comes to going on kind of any sort of trips or moving house just amazing in fact in our cupboard under here i've got a whole box of them in there <laughs> can't go wrong <laughs> so i'm making progress i want to go through our current snack cupboard and just pull out a few snacks that i want that we already have in i know i've got a few already um but we have like chocolate snacker jacks they could come in quite handy take those some squares bars they might be quite yummy i've uh, got some white chocolate bubbly so maybe I'll take a couple of those you know what i mean also in the ikea bag i've added an umbrella and my north face coat so that is looking good just need to add benji's wellies as well i might do another bag for him and his shoes and coats actually that might be easier but Yes, I think I'm just going to take a pair of flip-flops as well. So I'll have trainers for walks, flip-flops and wellies. I think that's all I'm going to need. Seeing as my sun hat is down here, I might as well chuck that in here too because I would probably wear that, obviously, when we walk. Go on a walk, so let's just put that in there. So whilst I popped out today, I bought some new things. Well, this is not new, but I'm bringing it in here because I bought this cute play suit. I actually got it in, like well it's a size 18 and i'm normally a 16 and it's a petite which i'm not normally it's a really lovely like slouchy cozy kind of just chuck it on kind of vibe it was only 17.99 but it's very very booby like it's very low cut and you could wear it with no bra if you wanted it could look quite cute with a bralette but i was thinking i'll just chuck a little zara tank underneath it so I'm going to swap this outfit out, but we'll get rid of this tank and we'll keep this tank. I'm going to pack this. I might even wear this tomorrow. I haven't quite decided. So if I put that and that there, one of them is going to be worn. And then I also bought a cute little cardigan from M&S. You're not going to be able to appreciate this very well, but it was in the sale, half price, £14.50. I am such a nana and I just love a cardi. There we go. Look how cute this is. So I really want to pack this as well, but is that excessive? It's excessive. It's totally excessive. And it's so hot today. So I know tomorrow is going to be really hot, but what should we do, Bonbon? What should we do? I definitely want to bring this with me. Do I just want to bring it because it's new though, or do I, am I actually going to wear it? Good. Also, I've swapped out my drone. It's now in this little bag that was my wash bag because it just fits perfectly in here. So this is a lot smaller than carrying the big case. And then I swapped my wash bag into this mini mouse one. So I've got like everything I think I need. I've blow dried my hair today. So it's clean today, straight and i will probably wash it again on saturday maybe sunday um where i'll let it go naturally curly so i'm having to think about what products i need for my naturally curly hair if i go in the hot tub i'm not going to want to get my hair wet i'm going to need a clip so let's get back so i've got one of those one of these little grips and also a hairband i think we've made quite good progress i'm going to go and cut the tags out of my new clothes right bench is home now i've located my airpods so i'm going to pop them on charge i'm going to pack this camera as well to vlog on but i'll see you again in the morning and we can assess where we're at i guess good morning it is glamping day i honestly feel like i'm going on holiday i mean it is a holiday it's a little trip i'm very excited i'm wearing the new play suit looks like this i do need to cover myself in spf though so that is something i'm going to do in a minute but i have packed my bags i say bags because i ended up having to use two which is look yes i mean it's not great is it but I did use a packing cube and then I realised that it's pointless having stuff in packing cubes for this trip because I'm basically going to be living out the bag, there's not going to be a wardrobe, there's not going to be drawers, um, so obviously it's a shepherd's hut, <laughs> so I've got everything packed up in here. Do I have more than I need? Yes, but 
it doesn't matter and then i've got all the camera gear and toiletries in this bag this is actually from asda um it's a mickey mouse one i love it i'm planning on maybe doing two videos one where i do like a tour and a review and talk more about the shepherd's hut in detail and then a big vlog of the whole weekend for people that are interested in that i also took out a bra because i'm wearing one and i only need one really for the full weekend i've got a sports bra and i do have kind of a slouchy bra bra for the evenings so i don't need another one so i think we're pretty much there with my stuff right i've put my sun cream on now good and i've walked bonnie and she's had her breakfast and i've done some work already but i now need to go to tesco because there were a few things that i forgot yesterday one of them including pepsi max which is an essential so i've written another small list i don't need a lot actually it's just a couple of bits so i shouldn't be long so let's go and do that next and then we can start doing the final bit of packing and then I really need to edit this vlog for you. I already had a few people asking, where is the vlog? Um, oh, the other thing I wanted to show you was my little bag that I wear all the time. This is my little like crossbody everyday bag. In here, I have some anti-back. I do already have some in one of the other bags. Um, my mask, a spare one. Ben also brought home some disposable ones and i also have bin, uh, bin bags poo bags for bonnie in this adorable little poo bag holder case look how cute that is i'll leave it linked below it was where was i where did i buy it from i can't remember i'll leave it um airpods are charged now got my purse um so yeah this little bag will go on, on my body obviously so let's go to tesco i'm back i went a little bit mad i bought some stuff that i needed for the house bomb beds are life i did get some cheeky chocolate I mean, we haven't had a share bar of chocolate in so long, so I was like, yes, let's get some of this. This looks nice, honeycomb. So we'll see what that's like. I don't know about shops near you or supermarkets near you, but my local supermarkets have not had a pint of milk in for so long. Since the beginning of lockdown, they've only been selling the big ones. So I was so chuffed to see a pint because I only use milk for my tea. I don't really use it for anything else. So I didn't want to bring a whole big one. So this is perfect. And then I just got us some meats that we could have those with our cheese board. And I found candy floss grapes are back. If you don't know what these taste like, you're missing out. I am obsessed with these and they always sell out. They're by the brand Jaffa and they are just so delicious. So I'm definitely having those later. And then I also got some orange juice. I thought we'd get the innocent one today. I normally just get the Tesco own, but I thought, it's a bit nice, innocent. And I also picked up some croissants because I thought they could be quite good as a breakfast option. We do have some eggs as well, um, but yeah, got those. So it's a bit early to start packing fridge stuff, isn't it? It's only quarter to 10 and Benji's gonna be home around 3, 3.30. Our favorite condiments, bullseye barbecue, tomato ketchup, Heinz mayonnaise, and this from Tesco, this burger sauce. It's so good. Oh, she brought me a toy. Okay. Red onion chutney to go with our cheeses. So I think that's all the condiments we'll need. I'll pack some butter as well. This is not including the food that needs to go in the pink bag, the cold food. We've got our essential bits and bobs, all the games, food that's cupboard stuff, drinks, and then all the other bits that I showed you. So that's looking pretty good so apart from bonnie's bed a couple of toys a light rain jacket for me and then obviously benji needs to pack for his stuff we're pretty much there we need to put the um cold fridge stuff in a cool bag and then it just all needs to go in the car so i've just put it all out there so he can help me pack it into the car safely so i hope you've enjoyed this video it's a bit of a pack with me vlog let me know if you've got any camping staycation vacation kind of trips coming up if you're going glamping as well i'd love to hear where you're going what you're doing and give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you're not already and i'll be back very very soon with the glamping vlog and tour and review and all that kind of stuff so see you soon